This is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1. For as much when Hamashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. All right, first I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokakadash. All right, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of who the world and he calls Jesus Christ. I give double honors to my apostles and others at Great Millstone who will well and tell me this truth. And shout out to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shout out to all. Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with another quick lesson to the Spirit by Yahweh Shim El Shai. And this lesson is going to be entitled, In His Cruelty There Is Life. All right, In His Cruelty There Is Life. Okay. All right, because our 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 one of the attributes of our heavenly Father, all right, and our big brother Yahweh Shai, all right, is that they're cruel, man. Okay, all right, they are very cruel. Okay, you know, yes, they're loving, yeah, they have um um uh, loving kindness and mercy, but they are also cruel. You know, even to um their their even to the their men. Okay. The, the men of the Lord, they are cruel, all right? And you got to understand what the word cruel means, okay? All right? So let's go let's go to the word cruel, okay? Um, cruelty. Like I said, this experience, probably Yahweh Hashem HaShem in his lesson, in his cruelty, there's life, okay? All right? So let's get it. It's um, cruelty. It's a noun, all right? From, um, tw uh, you know, uh, 12, 1200 century, okay? It says cruelty and difference to or pleasure taken in the distress or suffering of a sentient being kind, which sentient. When you look at the word sentient, it means anybody who has, has a, any feelings or uh, be able to feel something. OK. All right. So that's cruelty. So in his cruelty. All right. In his in his indifference to the distress or suffering of us. You know, there's life in that, man. All right. All right. Because the, within that, like I said, within cruelty, the Lord's causing us to suffer, man. OK. You know, you know, in this flesh. And as you just read in First Peter's uh, four and one, those who have suffered in the flesh. All right. Just like our Lord, Yahweh suffered in the flesh. All right. Cease from sin. OK. Now, what is suffering, man? All right. Like I said, the Lord is cruel. Because he takes pleasure in in in, in um, making us suffer, okay? You know, and uh, what is suffering? All right, let's get the word suffering. It's a it's a verb, okay? All right, from mid 13th century, okay? It's it's a to allow to occur, or continue, or permit, or tolerate, fail to permit, or suppress, um, made to go un made to go under or endure. To be subject to pain, death, punishment, or grief. All right. <clears throat> All right. So that's suffering, man. You suffering in the flesh, you're uh, made to undergo or being subject to pain, death, you know, punishment, judgment, or grief. Okay. You know, these are the things that the, the men of the Lord are, are suffering. All right. And Yahweh Bashima Shai is making us suffer. All right. Because if we suffer, we cease from sin. Okay. We cease from from the sin, which will cause you to be put to death, man. All right. So the Lord is cruel. Yes, the Lord is cruel. But within his cruelty, there's life, man. All right. Within him making us suffer. All right. In this flesh, there's life at the end of the road, man, which is the kingdom of heaven being saved about of America, man. All right. I'll read this. Uh, this Second Peter's chapter four, verse two. It says, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of mankind, that you don't be a carnal man, okay? All right, it says, but to the will of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? To the will of the Most High, Yahweh, man, all right? That you live your the rest of your time in this flesh to, to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to do his will, okay? So the Lord causes us to suffer so we may not, so we may not sin no more, man, all right? You know, so within his cruelty, there's life, Akim. You know, you might be going to do certain things, and the world might see it as cruel. All right, 
you know, dang, your Lord doing that to you, you know, dang, you know, uh, uh, the Lord make you go through that, you know, look at the example of Job, man. All right. People look at that like, damn, the Lord was cruel. He killed everything that he had, man. All right. You know, gave up, you know, basically took away everything he had. People have seen that as cruel, you know, but within that, within his cruelty, Job didn't sin with his lips, man. All right. You know, through this cruelty, there's life because what the how about you do afterwards? He gave he he uh, he uh, uh, um, multiplied his substance more, man. You know, you know, so we if we suffer in the flesh, you, we cease to sin, man. All right. You know that we no longer may live in this flesh, man, but live to do the will of the heavenly father, man. OK, you know, I said, um. And one of the main words that's under that word suffer go uh, to be subject to grief. All right. <laughs> now, that word grief is pretty important. All right. So we are made to go and be subject unto grief. Now, we can go into that word grief from the early 13th century. All right. The entomology, it, it means hardship, suffering. All right. There we go. That word suffering to go under something. Right? Hardship, suffering, pain, bodily affliction. OK. You know, because ultimately, you know, the Lord is putting us to uh, making us uh you know, strong, you know, in the, in the spirit, man. All right. Cause when you, uh, just, uh, refrain from the flesh, your spirit prospers, man, you know? Yeah. So, and we want to be, uh, flourishing and prospering and abounding in the spirit of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, the Rukar Kadash, man. All right. We want to be abounding in, in, and flourishing in that man, the spirit of the heavenly father, man. All right. So that's why the Lord is paying us and making us be subject, suffering, making us suffer, grief man you know so, make, making us suffer hardships pain and bodily afflictions man you know you know uh grief mean um uh misfortune injustice <laughs> you know you know the the lord is making us suffer these things all right so we can cease from sin man all right that we may uh, uh put off that old man no longer live in the in the flesh but live live to do the will of the heavenly father man all right and like i said our greatest example is our lord yahweh shai all right, we got to arm ourselves with the like the same like mine as him because he suffered in the flesh. All right. He um, he uh, was under uh, undergo subject to pain, death, punishment, judgment and grief. All right. So we got to arm ourselves likewise to do the same, man. You know, and uh, uh, like I said, like I said, dude, going back to it and his cruelty. All right. The Lord being cruel and his cruelty means indifference to which my favorite go look up that in. Um, word indifference all right it means un unbiased uh impartial not preferring one to the other alike equal um let's see empathetic Ooh, <laughs> let's get that word real fast that's a good one um empathetic let's get that um empathetic empathetic meaning showing or feeling no interest in or concern so the lord don't care about how you how you feel in this flesh man all right you know the lord don't care that's why it might seem that the lord might be cruel these people think the lord is very cruel but yes in his cruelty there's life within that man the lord don't care about how you feel in the flesh man you know he he, he cares that you obey him man and with obedience the lord will reward you with things man you know pit off this pit off the flesh all right cool the lord can reward you are in the flesh as the scriptures say seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added unto you okay you know the women the uh the the so-called you know the fame whatever you you know that natural men desire all right pit that off because those are the things of the flesh and do the will of the heavenly father and he'll give those things to you man all right so the lord's causing us to suffer right now akium all right through his cruelty there's life because the elect through the cruelty and being um put under to undergo sufferings all right and this flesh they cease from sin and ultimately that's going to cause them to be saved man okay that's going to cause them to come back to the heavenly father repent and um and uh a start being an israelite again man all right you know you so-called this and plus this to you so-called negroes latinos and native americans to see your father and confusion of faces who line go back to abraham isaac and jacob okay all right yeah how about shima shai is causing us to suffer in this flesh so we may come back to him and cease from sin. Okay. Like I said, our greatest example is our Lord, big brother, Yahweh Shai. Okay. 
for the world and he calls Jesus Christ. All right. And here I'm going to get it right here. This is a Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10. Yet it pleased Yahweh to bruise him. And this is talking about the Lord Yahweh Shai. So it pleased Yahweh to bruise him. Okay. To put him under suffering, man. All right. He have put him to grief. To remember, we went to that definition of grief. All right. Let's go, go back to it. Grief. Hardship, sufferings, pain, bodily affliction, injustice, misfortune. Okay. These are the definitions. The Lord put him under this, man. Put him sub subjected to him to these things, man. It says he have put him to grief. All right. That it says when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, because our Lord Yahushai was made an offering for our sins, man. All right. A, and, you know, a reconcile, reconciling us back to the heavenly father, man. All right. Making us back friendly with the heavenly father, man. All right. It says he shall see his seed, his day. He shall prolong his days and the pleasure of Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. Kind. So through him suffering, you know, all right. <laughs> You know, he, he, you know, he suffered for his sins first, then ours, you know, you know, reconciling us back to the heavenly father. All right. But, it, you know, uh, and, and that through all this, through obeying the will of the heavenly father, all things will be given unto him, man. OK. And it has been, man. OK. All right. But we got to arm ourselves with the same like mine because it pleased the heavenly father to bruise him, to be cruel to him, man, to purposely cause him pain. Okay, all right, and suffering. All right, let's go back to that word cruelty, man. Cruelty, indifferent to or pleasure taken in. It said it pleased them, so the Lord had pleasure in it. All right, it says pleasure taking in the distress or suffering of a sentient being, which means any being that has feeling, man. Basically, suffer, making us suffer, man. Okay, you know, so in his cruelty, there's life. All right, because the Lord was cruel. Cruelty to Yahweh Shai by bruising and putting him to grief. All right. But within that, we are we are able to come back to the Heavenly Father, man. All right. So within that, there's life, man. All right. Within his cruelty, there's life. All right. Yes, the Lord might do some things. And it might hey, it might seem cruel. But in that, you got to look at it. Hey, the Lord is, you know, trimming my ways so I may sin no more, man. All right. You know, helping me trim my ways that I may not sin willfully and I cease from sin. All right. And ultimately, the Lord's will that we be a part of the elect. We be saved, man. All right. All right. So, hey, we're going to go through some things. The Lord's going to put us in some cruel situations, man. All right. But we, we ought to know that those are is for us to cease from sin so that we may be saved, man. OK. And um, this is the last scripture I want to get. All right. Though we're going to be suffering, <laughs> it's going to be nothing to be compared to what we're going to get in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. Which how was I knew that what he was suffering is not going to be compared to anything that was going to be uh, given unto him, which was everything, man. All right. Everything was given unto you. How was I, man? All right. All right. So that suffering was only for a small moment, man. All right. And we have to know that and we have to remember that. All right. So this is on Romans chapter eight, verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings, okay, the sufferings, the grief, the going under pain, uh, punishment, judgment, you know, death, all those things. All right. The sufferings being put under hardship, grief, pain, bodily afflictions. All right. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory, which shall be revealed in us. OK. All right. Hey, getting them new bodies, being saved out of America, being the first ones to, you know, the first go around the kingdom of heaven, ruling with our Lord Yahweh Shai, which was giving everything was given unto him, being joint heirs with him. None of these things that we suffer, Akim, losing family members, losing friends, losing women, none of these things, none of these sufferings, none of these emotional pains or bodily pains are not to be compared to um what's to come all right which is the kingdom of heaven all right all that will feel like a dream man or when that comes man so the glory that's gonna be revealed within us lord will be part of the elect are not to be compared to the sufferings 
that we're we're going through right now. All right. The glory is going to be a lot better. You're going to forget about the sufferings, man. So, hey, man, arm yourselves likewise like Yahweh Shai. All right. Hey, in his cruelty. All right. There's life. OK. In his cruelty, there is life. So I hope you brothers was edified. Hope you understand what I was, you know, trying to convey through the spirit. Hey, how about you? Shai. Um, hey, man. Just pray to the Lord and hey, amen that he you understand that he's making you uh, um, sin cease from sinning, man. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who woo well and taught me this truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there to the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.